So I've made a fair bit of progress since I've done a video, guys. Um, so the floors are in, I've started cutting out some access hatches and everything else, I've built an ASCII, I've got a whole heap of things in place. So I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's really starting to come along quite well. It's starting to look like a boat, uh, and I'm pretty happy with it overall. So let's have a look at what we've done. So there we go guys, we've got a floor in, we've got some access hatches on both sides, port and starboard side so I can get to my cables and conduits and everything, a little bit of storage there. We've got uh, enough space there for 650 litres of fuel, I have to build a fuel tank in there a little bit later. Um, that there, we've got a stainless steel water tank, holds about 120 litres, how about I get down and have another look. So we've got plenty of storage now, that's for sure. There's no doubting that at all. If we have a look, so we've got access hatch there on the port side. We swing around, another one on the starboard side. I've got a couple of 50 millimeter medium density conduits in there for my electrical. When I start doing my electrical, getting that into place, running all my cables around the, around the boat. Uh, we've got a 120 liter fresh water tank um, I've made a bit of a mess of all of this flow coating in here because I did the flow coating way too early. Essentially what I should have probably done, well, no probably about it, what I should have done is uh, waited a lot longer before I, before I started putting flow coat down because walking over it and everything has just made an absolute mess. So what I'm going to have to do is go back and sand it back and uh, recoat it, make it look pretty again because right now it just looks like trash. I've still got some glassing work to do. You can see in here, so I've got these uh, supports here for the floor. There's a couple of them there. Um, and all I've done is I've basically cabasilled them in at the moment, so I've got to glass them in. You can see the structure there that's all thermalite. Um, three layers of thermalite separated by glass in between them. They're all vinyl has to resonate everywhere. Uh, the floor, so I'll show you in a sec what I've used for the floor. We've got a esky there. You want to call it an esky in Australia. Yeah, it's probably Australian lingo there because we call it an esky. Um, it's like a cooler box or fish box, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. In America, I think you'd probably call it a, a, a cooler or fish box, maybe. I, I don't know, but that's essentially all that is, guys. So that's been uh, glassed and foamed. That's essentially sitting on top of the knees. Um, a little while ago, I did a video about how I installed the knees and I glassed them in and locked them in. And then what I did was I put some um, uh, H60 foam over the top of that and glassed all of that in, locked it in, and then I poured foam down to, to for no other reason. It's not for buoyancy, it's not for any other reason other than to keep the thing cool, to keep my fishies cool. So, that's it. That's my ice box. Um, we got enough room in here for 650 litres of fuel when I get the fuel tank in. Now underneath this, by the way, underneath this, you're not just, this is not the hull of the boat. So obviously underneath this we've got the, the old stringers that run across, and what I've done is they're in pretty good nick. So what I've done is I've put, they're in very good nick. Every other stringer came out of the back of this boat. If you've gone back and watched all my other videos and everything, all of those other ones came out. So what I've done is I've actually thickened them up. I've put uh, stringers on either side. I've basically uh, sandwiched them if you like. So they're now about um, 75 millimeters thick. There's three of them. And then that floor sits down on top of them. So that's really, really strong and very, very solid. Plenty of room. As you can see, what I've done, I'll come up here closely, is basically I've glassed down the sides where the floors are, everywhere, and I've done that pretty much all over here, but I've still got to do it here. So you can see I haven't done that yet, so I've still got to do that. I've got to curve that over, bring the glass down to lock it in. Obviously got to grind any of that flow coat off, off that I've already got on there, grind that back and do it everywhere all over these sections i have to have a big access hatch here same obviously on that cooler down the back there i've got to put more access hatches down the back so that i can get to my uh, cables because i'll have to be running cables from the flybridge you'll come down 
This is where my um, uh, LiPo 4 battery is going to go in here. I'm going to have a dual helm sitting there. So I'm going to have controls there as well as up on the flybridge. I'm going to have a CCTV camera there so that when I am controlling from down here, I can see everything that's going up, everything that's going on up in front. And then um, we run all the cables down. I have a monitor up there, of course. And then uh, run all the cables down um, back to the stern of the boat where I'll build a a battery box over there as well so that I can essentially get all of my cables in there, have my two start batteries in there. I'll have two, I think they're 660 cc8 batteries, uh, 12 volt batteries sitting in there for the two engines with parallel switching and all of that sort of cool gear. And um, yeah. The other thing that I've done with this boat as well guys is I've opened it right up. So essentially there was a tiny little window in there. Um, previously so what i'm doing is i want to be able to open this right up so that we get a whole heap of breeze through there and we can have a bigger door and and everything else just to feel a little bit more open when you're inside the can look at the mess that i've got in there would you that's probably very naughty you're probably all gonna go oh man you're a messy fella i was gonna say another word started with f but i won't do that on on, on youtube but there you go that's pretty much that so it's going to be a black tinted window of some sort sliding window up or down sideways don't know and door i'm going to get somebody else to do that so that's not going to be something i'm going to do these sections here when we come along to this so this is going to i've got to glass all of that in but this is going to become uh, a section where i'm going to have another helm the steering wheel and my throttles here i'm going to have a another repeater panel up there so that i can see um what's going on with my garmin system i'm going to have cctv cameras up the front and i'm going to be able to see that from here so that i can know exactly what's going on i don't have to be up on the floor bridge to steer this beast um uh, gonna bring all of my storage out to about here right up to here i can't do it past here because when the fuel tank goes in i'm essentially gonna make them a drop-in tank I don't want to basically lock those tanks in. I need to be able to get to those tanks if I ever need to do anything to them, if they leak or if there's a problem with them or, or whatever. I want to be able to make sure that I've got access. So there's going to be storage in there. That's where my house battery is going to go. And then we're going to have storage over this side as well, uh, probably to this height. I was thinking about putting some sort of a seat in there. I don't know. That'd, that'd be pretty cool if you could put a seat in there and just and have your guests sort of sitting on there but there becomes a problem when I put the fuel tank in. Like I was saying before, I want to be able to make sure that's a drop-in tank so we can get to it all the time. Um, I might come up with another idea for that, but uh, a backward-facing seat might be really nice, even though uh, no, I've got that access panel in there, so it can't be a lounge, but anyway, we will need to make it very, very comfy for anybody that gets on this boat and we'll do the very long trips. So that's the idea anyway, guys. So let's have a look at, oh, you didn't get head spins there. This is, I hope you can see this. I'm gonna come in nice and slow. So this is the H60 foam. You'll hear people talking about the core foam, H60, H80. This is H60, H80 is denser than that, stiffer than that. But you can see the laminates on it, the glass work that I've done to it. Now this actually comes with layers on either side of it when you buy it. I buy my, all of my stuff from a place called Fibre Finish up here in North Queensland where I live and uh, they actually manufacture this stuff and they do a pretty good job. Um, but what I've done is I've added layers of glass to the top of it and that's what the floor is basically made out of. There are sections of uh, this boat that are thermalite with uh, composite over the thermalite locked all in into every other section of the boat and then i've used h60 foam the h60 foam is typically in the higher areas where i wanted to make it a little bit lighter but that in itself there's quite a bit of weight in that so anyway that's where we are that's where we're going and i'm pretty happy i'm pretty happy i reckon this boat's going to be on the on the water pretty soon that's pretty much where we're at at the moment guys so uh, there's going to be a lot more content coming up. What I'm going to be doing is the next one I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do a video about all the mistakes that I've made so far. And, and the whole idea of that is simply to point out the issues that I've had along the way, the things that have gone wrong, uh, what, I, 
would have done differently uh, knowing um, what I know now and all of those sort of things you learn along the way but uh, well, it is what it is like I've been in the building and construction industry for a very long time and in that time we just do commercial buildings uh, in the uh, we do electronics within those commercial buildings and in all of that time I've never seen a building go up without a problem there's always been problems and it's no different to this we're building a boat essentially building a boat and we've run into a few problems along the way and I'm going to open up my, uh, tell you all about it so that maybe if you're going to do a project like this then you, you, you can learn by from my mistakes maybe you know and not do the same things but I hope you get something out of that anyway that's going to be a really good video then we're going to have a look at uh, some of the things that uh, we're going to be doing in the future there's another boat that I'm going to be doing I'm learning to TIG weld I'm going to uh, I'm teach myself uh, essentially how to do some TIG welding and then we're going to do all the electrical through this boat and that's just to name a few things that we're going to be doing so hope you enjoy those too so if you want to see all of that content in the future please make sure that you like and subscribe and um, and check them out thanks guys